Hello everybody and welcome back to how to build a B1 bomber. Ten minutes at a time. Sammy says good morning everybody. She's been out in the shop with old dad this morning. <laughs> okay people, this is what I'm going to do today. I am going to lay up my vertical stabs. Okay. These are my vertical stabs. That's my horizontal stab over there. I got to put it away for now. But anyway, I'm going to lay these up today. I want to get these things built. And I'm also going to lay up the top of one of these F9F Cougars. This is the canopy area. But I wanted to show you guys the difference in this big one and the small one, okay? This big one, I'm going to use two ounces of my tooling cloth. I want this rudder rigid, man. I want this. I don't want this rudder going nowhere. And one layer of glass ain't going to make no difference in weight. So I'm going to do that, and then I, I might put a layer of balsa wood on there, just on the sides to kind of get the flexibility out of it. I want that thing to be rigid. We'll kind of see. I'll make that call a little later. But uh, I want to get that laid up. I'm going to use two layers of tooling cloth on that. My two t ounces and uh, that jet, this this Cougar, really only needs about 12 ounces total weight. And uh, my cloth is 10 ounce. Then I got this two ounce here. Okay. Now I could probably get away with just one layer of that 10 ounce. But it's kind of coarse. And there's some places you can just see through it. You know, and I don't want no holes appearing later. So I'm going to put a layer of this 2 ounce down. Then I'm going to use a layer of that 12 ounce or that 10 ounce. And that gives me 12 ounces. And it should be perfect. You know, when I was making them uh, USRA racers, they were quarter scale fuselages. And uh, 12 ounces was perfect. You know, it kept the weight down and it was nice. It was, uh, you know, plenty rigid enough. So that's what I'm going to do there. All right, and you guys can just sit back, tune in to some Bobo Vision, and watch. Hey guys, I had my first interview with that uh, TWIRC this week in radio control with old Dave over in Germany. Let me tell you, people, that was fun. You guys that hey, haven't seen it yet, you can still watch it. Go to our website, and we have a link where you can just click on it and watch the interview but uh it's pretty cool and we're going to do this once a week people every wednesday now this is central time zone okay in kansas but every wednesday at six o'clock we're going to put on a live interview and uh you guys can go there and watch it live you can even there's even a chat room there that you can get into and ask questions and uh, kind of be a part of the interview but to do that you got to go and sign up for that live stream you got to get a live stream account kind of like a YouTube account you know and it's really no big deal but do that and then you could uh, participate and uh, ask questions and I was just get involved. It was a lot of fun last night. I like old Dave. That Dave's a good person. He's a retired Aussie Air Force pilot. And uh, he's sitting over in Germany in the middle of nowhere now. Just uh, <laughs> he, he lives just way out in the sticks. And, uh, you know, he's just doing it for entertainment. I think it's a, a good thing what he's doing, you know. Okay, I'm mix up about 200 grams. Let's see how far that gets me. 200 grams and 25 to 1, so we'll put 50 grams of hardener. It's actually this ratio is uh, 100 parts to 25 parts is what it is. So if you go 100 grams of resin, 
put in 25 grams of hardener. Pretty easy mix. But someone asked me why couldn't you just use paint for this surface coat? Well, I need to do one more thing. Uh, why, can't, why can't you use paint for this surface coat? Well, for one thing, uh, paint and primer is a lot more expensive than that surface coat, believe it or not. Uh, that white surface coat was like $230 for five gallons of resin and a, a gallon of hardener, which you, that is six gallons of mixed up epoxy people for $230. Okay, go buy six gallons of primer. That's 600 bucks plus thinner. And, you know, so you're better off just using that white resin you get at Associated Industries. But you can also take regular resin and thicken it with some uh, Cavaseal, uh, calcium carbonate. There's a few things you can put in there to thicken your resin. But, you know, and I was doing that at the first and, uh, man, I like that white resin a whole lot more. I really do. But if, you, you know, if a guy just wanted to make a one-off mold, he can probably use a paint or a primer, but I wouldn't suggest it. Because it won't last very long. Now I need to take me a little bit of this resin and uh, thicken it up to put in the corners. Because we all know fiberglass don't like to go in, in them corners very well. So I'm going to take a little bit of this resin and I'm going to thicken it up. Just using my baking soda right off the shelf. You can use calcium carbonate. Uh, you could probably use a, a cotton flock, but we're really not looking for strength here, people. We just want a filler to get in them corners, you know, so, you know, you might as well go cheap. And just plain old baking soda will just works fantastic. Because you just want a filler. We're not wanting strength, you know. Got the Bobo timer again. You people are slipping up. Oh, two minutes left. Here we go. Y'all know what that means. <laughs> you guys are too funny, man. You guys are too funny. But stay tuned for some more Bob TV today. We're gonna have some a lot of action going on today. We're going we're going to whoop up one of them vertical stabs and one of them canopies for that Panther. I'm just kind of I like them Panther airplanes, man. I just have to whoop myself. Up. <laughs> I got a buddy who wants one. And actually, a couple buddies <laughs> want me to whoop them up a fuse. You know, and ain't nothing wrong with making a little jingle on the side. You know, so I sure need it. Hey, I want to tell you guys one more thing. We got everybody's t-shirt sent out. Okay? Everybody. And uh, they're on their way. I just kind of get busy, people. You know, I've I'm I'm, I'm, I'm got a better filing system now. And... <laughs> So I don't think I missed anybody. I really did some research and I want everybody to have a t-shirt. You guys over in Germany, I'll send t-shirts over there. So come on. I got, I bet I got 150 t-shirts in the house. I kind of went overboard on that last little order. But, uh, uh, I, I, I think I ordered too many, but I figured I'd use them. So, you guys want a t-shirt, man? Come on, step up to the plate. We're getting down to the home home stretch, and I kind of need the help, if you know what I mean. I got a big old trailer. Anyone's got a big old trailer sitting around, you know, that they ain't hauled nothing with in a long time? Uh, I sure could use one. <laughs> but, uh, other than that, people, we'll be back for some more Bob TV. Same Bob time, 
same Bob Stacey.